So I'm going to go into GIMP. I need to get open GIMP, and then I need to open the picture. This is one I just photoshopped. It's a mess over here because there were two people standing here, and I only had part of this window that I had to use to finish this one, and then I used this window to copy to that one. As you can see, this part of the window is the same. And then I took a little bit from other places and kind of changed it, and then I had to use all of this area to redo this whole edge. I mean, no one's going to care. They're not even going to notice. This didn't line up for some reason. I got to this point, like, why does this not line up? It doesn't line up because I grabbed this from somewhere else and all that stuff. Uh, shopped, exported. Nope, move this card changes. So I'm going to open this other one from the desktop, which is called Rafa Love. Yep, that one. <laughs> it's Rafa and Diana, but I had a name of something. So there's the girl. They're like, get rid of the lady. Please get rid of her for us. So, you know, she, she was getting her picture taken, and she's doing the kissy lips. And they're like, can you please get rid of her? We don't want her in our picture. So there she is doing her kissy lips for somebody else. So I get my tablet out. It's easier to work with the tablet than with the mouse. So, I mean, the computer accepts input. There's the mouse, and here's my tablet. My tablet is much more, I can get in much more fine detail here with my little, my little tablet than with the mouse. I can try with the mouse, but you have to take down the sensitivity, and then I can't get from corner to corner quickly and all that. So it's easier just to set the mouse aside and use my little bamboo tablet. And I'm going to be cloning, so I want to take whatever I find and cover it exactly. I don't want to make it see-through, so the, the opacity is up near the top. I'm going to enlarge that one more time. So the thing with GIMP is you put it on tools, and it's paint tools, and then you pick clone. Very easy. And when I, I put, I want to clone here. I don't want to clone this line here. Where do I have another one of those? That's that's like a seam. And there's another seam. There's not another seam, so that's probably right in the middle. Or near the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle because it's not a symmetrical E. So there's only one seam in the V, so I'm going to clone from here. And the thing that's interesting, or going to be tough with this, is the lens was dirty, so this glare on the bottom and not on the top. And I can't just clone here all the way down because then this red part that I clone all the way to the bottom isn't going to match this. I'll show you. Thankfully, it's almost symmetrical. It's straight down to this point, and then it's going to be up. I'm going to have to actually make this. You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's start wherever I can. Hold down control and push right there. That's where it's going to be, and I can clone from here. And if I go down where she used to be, see, I'm just going to clone her again. And you can see that it's not 100% opacity. It's near, but not completely 100%. So let's go up to the top and do that again. There we go. Now it completely covers. And then once I let go, once I lift the pointing device off the tablet, it just goes back up where it was. And then I'm going to start again. See? But I'm continuing this red area all the way to the bottom, and it won't match, as you can see. Let's just do this as an experiment. See? It doesn't match. It doesn't match. I can make it look like it matches, but I can't. Now, this is where I was, which means I'm near the top of these little, what are they, birds or planes or something. So I can do maybe th this and get it to match this way. Sort of. Control Z is undo. It'd be easier for me to clone all this from here. Just take this here and move over and get rid of it. That's not right, but I can fix that later. And then I'll clone here over here. It's not right, but I'm it's okay. See how these clone? It's evidently cloned. So I can get rid of it by going to this middle area in another spot. And I can do this here, here. So it looks somewhat more real. 
You'll call it here. Here. Now I got that back. See, that's not, no, that's not lining up. So we'll do this here. Okay, I like that better. Now I got her lady to get rid of, so I'm just going to take this and reestablish that as my center. Put it here. Get rid of all that. Leave the red. I'm going to put one here so it's different. And put one here so it's different. So there's the bottom. And I would consider that done. This is the bottom. This will be easy. To clone over to there. And then I can also come up. Well, let's go to the center. See, you need a, a landmark. I'm going to make the center of the landmark. Which will be that one. And then make this my landmark. I can't do that. This is my landmark. Like that. It'll look alright. And this whole edge is going to be distinct like this one. I can do that after. Let's see if I undo it. I actually like it better undone. This will be easy. Let's bring that over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone all these white areas over here. See how that looks? Fake now. And then my original circle got to where her dress was, so I cloned it over there. So then we're going to go here and clone that over here. And then all of this, again, is going to be here. And you'll see that it's the same. You see that these two are the same. These two. Come on. These two are the same. These, this, these two spots and those two spots are the same. So we just grab one here and stick it there. So it's not the same. Now they're not the same. Those two are the same. We can grab one here, put it there. Now they're different. So then I'll clone this. And the people that are in the picture aren't going to care if it, if it looks the same. All they're worried about is I get rid of the woman. But it's getting darker as I go up and redder, so I'm going to have to start cloning here and bring this down and do all this to clone. And when I get down low enough where she used to be, see, I'm going to start cloning her again. See, she's here now. So I'll start cloning here, over here. And I'll clone here, here, and here. And now I've got more room, so that I can clone again. And I can clone here here and we slowly get rid of her and clone here up here and we clone around so it's not all the same everywhere and I'm using the center of a hole as my landmark so I can't just put it anywhere see then, then it starts getting weird but I was only clicking control Z again is is undo so if I'm putting this the center of the hole with my landmark when I reposition, then I have to go to the center of a hole to do that. No, I don't like that, so I'm going to put... I don't like all this stuff. And she was all the way across the bottom, so I have to actually make the bottom. I can clone this here. I can clone all of oops, this here and that's where originally her shoe was so I'll start over and I gotta get smaller Oops, wow that went fast and I'll just start here and I'll use this see it's different you, this is much darker area than here so I'll start here control Control and hit, and then I'll put it there. Oops. And I'll try it again here. Take that out. Let's try it again here. Take that out. And once you've cleared it out, when you move over, 
it stays cleared out. Then I'm going to do this one again. I'm going to move it to here. I'm going to redo this. Then I'm going to take this down. So I'm only painting half through. So for instance, for instance, if I put this brown here, if I reposition my pointer here, it's not completely that color the first time. I had to go over it numerous times in order for it to be that color. And I can blend this in a little bit and even take that out so you can't really tell that I photoshopped anybody out and the color now matches. You can paint over here a little bit if you want to make it look different. And then I can reposition this over here. There we go. I like that. But now I'm going to move this here again and do her other leg. See, i got to keep going over it. Oops. Why did that move? i got to keep moving. i got to put this back up to the top. And then I can do it like that. We said it's at 100%. The first time you go over it, it changes it. And I'll move it over here and do this. And I'll do this. So I'm remaking this edge with what was already there. And I'll start here, remake this edge, and then remake it again and again. And every time I lift the pen, if I put the pen down, it starts drawing from where the original pointer was. And I hold the pen down, I, I draw everywhere where the upper circle goes. And when I lift the, the pointer, it goes right back up. So then I'll put this over here, which looks all right, and I'll move this over here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, that looks all right. There's a little piece of her there, so let's do this, and then that. Maybe we got her on. And then because this is so red and the original wasn't, put this at half. Make the brush a little smaller and just go over it with a different color. And that one, that time I wasn't really worried about the holes lining up. I should have been. There we go. I'll go here. Okay. And then she's gone. And I'll move this here over to there. So I'm basically copying this up and down area over here. And I want to copy this because the line is a little harder. That's not what I wanted. Control Z. No, let's do this again. Stay deleted that one. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to move this one again there. And I'm going to consider that done. One little last piece of her leg. And I'm done. Move this here. And this color here. Okay. She's done. She's gone. Now I would consider myself done. 100%. There's no sign of the woman. See these very stark starts and stops of these reflections? They kind of work. You'd never really know that was photoshopped and that there was a woman there. And then you go over here, File, Export. You do File, Save. It'll only save as an XCF file, which is a, a GIMP file. So you do Export as, and this I'm going to call <laughs> It's Rafa and Deanna in front of the love sign, so I can tell what it is. I'm going to call it Shopped. This isn't Photoshop, but... It's such a common term, and it's going right back to the desktop export. And I have the quality on high, export. And I want to save changes. Yeah, let's save it. It's going to save it as an XCF. So next time I open this, next time I open GIMP, this is a picture by Albert Bierstadt, actually, my favorite painter. Although I can't find a high-definition version of that. 
can't find a high definition of the original of this, and there may not be one. This might be a small format picture. Why is Gimp? Oh, sorry, there it goes. It should be on the desktop. Shopped. Open with earphone view, and there you have it. Done. Now I gotta send them back. I gotta email them to myself. And I don't even know what email client it's gonna use. I have no idea. But we're done.